Welcome back to the plays of the decade. Now let's go to the videotape and take a look at the years of 1981 through 1984. The best behind the back pass in the NBA, Julia Zerbing to Lionel Holland to the Philadelphia 76ers. The most upset goalie, Doug Sotar to the Rangers who breaks his stick. The best dunk of 1981, Julia Zerbing against Dallas. The worst dunk of 1981, Mel Bennett of the Jazz. Nice shot, Mel. The best stutter step move of 1981, Kevin Porter of the Bullets, who feeds Kevin Grevy, who banks it in. The best check of a National Hockey League linesman into the stand, Jim Horn of the Red Wings. Give that man a ticket. The low blow of 1981, Bazooka Lamone, right hand, and boom. The worst conduct of the year by a soccer player, Renato Chile of the New York Arrows against the Phoenix Inferno and referee Julio Salas. The best halftime shot in basketball. The best collision with an umpire, Giants Enos Cabell and umpire Dick Stello. The best move by a player trying to blow a fair ball foul. Lenny Randall of Seattle. Blow it, Lenny, blow it. The luckiest fan of the decade who after going after a foul ball, almost falls out of the stands on opening day in Cincinnati. The best celebration after winning a golf tournament, Jerry Pate at the Memphis Open. The best running catch and a somersault, Nate Chapman of the AAA Richmond Braves who goes up and over. The worst made racket of the decade, it's Andres Gomez, come on Andre. The worst example of base running, Claudel Washington of the Braves. The most upset manager of 1981, Phillies manager Dallas Green, fined and suspended five games. The worst move by a gymnast, Brian Meeker. Oh! Meeker was not injured. The first time an NFL official is sacked with the quarterback. What's the call, ref? The best reaction to kicking a winning field goal, Matt Barr of the Raiders, who beats Tampa Bay. And the longest roll in a college game, North Carolina against Wake Forest. In 1982, the longest shot in the NBA, Brad Davis, Dallas 80-footer, swish! The best wild swing, followed by a dance. Down goes Ronaldo Snipes, and there's Scott Frank with a dance. The worst move by a third baseman chasing a foul pop-up, Tom Brookins of the Tigers. Watch out, Tom, watch out. Oh! The best move by a batter trying to avoid a tag, Julio Cruz of Seattle against Red Sox pitcher Mike Torres. The best running catch against the wall by a center fielder, Freddie Lynn of the Angels. The worst violation of stick swinging, goalie Greg Stefan of Detroit and Willie Plett of Minnesota. Plett fined and suspended eight games. The best acrobatic goal, Gilles Hamel of the Sabres. The toughest college player of the year, Iowa defensive back Ron Hawley, who knocks down the goalpost. The play of the decade, Stanford kicks off to California. Kevin Moyne to Richard Rogers. Rogers to Dwight Garner. Garner back to Rogers. Rogers with the ball. Rogers to Marriott Ford. Ford then gives it back to Kevin Moyne. Moyne takes it in for the game-winning touchdown and clobbers the trombone player. The best play by a quarterback to avoid a sack. Oilers quarterback Archie Manning to Mike Barber back to Manning who on the run throws the ball underhand 20 yards upfield to Mike Renfro, turning a 32-yard loss into a 10-yard gain. And the best accidental punch, Pedro Cardenas, who inadvertently hits referee Burt Rose. Take a 10-count rep. In 1983, the best reaction to a 30-foot putt, Rex Caldwell, Phoenix Open, 18th hole. All right, Rex. The longest college shot, James Jackson, West Texas State, a 70-footer, swish. The worst move by a cheerleader, Sally Nay of James Madison, accidentally clobbered by James Braddock of North Carolina. The best collision, Bob Horner of the Braves and Ron Hodges of the Mets. 
the best trip by a teammate. Dale Vera tripped up by Steve Nikosha. Most granite blocks broken in one shot. Richie Barathe, 17 blocks, a new world record. One of the fattest fighters of the decade, 260-pound Willis Ray Cowell. The best Raz on an umpire, Oakland coach Cleet Boyer, who says, come on up, this game should be rained out. The umpire says, forget the rain, you're out. The worst move by a quarterback, John Walton, USFL. Come on, move over, John, I don't have the ball. Most times, a car flips over in an auto race without the driver getting hurt. Bill Parsons, Winston, 500. The best move by a wrestler, Dusty Rhodes in the bionic elbow. The punch of the year, Roberto Duran, who knocks out Davey Moore. The best juggling act by a third baseman, Bill Stein of Texas. The tennis shot of the year, Yannick Noah, U.S. Open against Aaron Trickstein. Noah back and between his legs. The best reaction by a pitcher, Jerry Royce of the Dodgers. The worst reaction by a pitcher, Sid Mungie of the Padres. The best offsides of the decade, Mark Cork, University of Florida against Auburn. The foggiest game of the decade, Bruins Canadians. Come on, turn on the lights. The best foot in the face, Billy Sims against Steve Brown of the Oilers. The worst rug of the year, the New York Cosmos against the Chicago Sting. And the best throw-in in a soccer game, Volga Wallace of the University of Virginia to Jeff Gaffney and a goal. In 1984, the unusual shot of the decade, Greg Trapp, Oregon, falling over the baseline, and swish! Best ball in your face, Pat Cummings of the Mavericks, who hits Bill Walton. The best play by a second baseman after the ball hits the bag, Willie Randolph of the Yankees. The best reverse golf shot of the year, Peter Jacobson, 18th hole, Memorial Tournament, par four, 100-yard shot, and the ball rolls in. The punch of the year, Thomas Hearns in the yellow trunks, right hand, and boom, down goes Roberto Duran. Most kicks by one wrestler, imitating Fred Astaire, Akita Naida. The best effort by a race car driver, Nigel Manziel in the Dallas Grand Prix, running out of gas, tries to push his car across the line. The most upset manager of the year, Pat Corrales of the Cleveland Indians, fined $1,000. The best reaction to sinking a putt, Chi-Chi Rodriguez in the Greater Hartford Open. All right, Chi-Chi. The best fluke catch of 1984, Chargers Dan Fouts off the hand, and then the foot of Seattle's Kenny Easley into the hands of Bobby Duckworth. The best finish to a college game, Boston College trailing Miami by four points, Doug Flutie to Gerald Phelan, and Boston College beats Miami on the last play of the game. The human spinning wheel move of the year, Matt Moore of the Miami Dolphins. And the worst hit after the bell, Tony Anthony hits Mike Weaver, Anthony is disqualified. And one of the most unusual and embarrassing moments of the decade occurred when Portland Trail Blazers general manager Harry Glickman went to introduce his new coach, Mike Schuler. When we shook hands on our deal yesterday afternoon, I told him we'd make Oregonians out of the two of them. Mike, it's all yours. Let me slide over here. <laughs> We'll be back with the rest of the decade, 1985 through 1989, in just a moment.